What's up guys? So I went to my PO box and there was this huge box there for me. And uh, I read the description on the customs thing. Tail lights for S15 Sylvia. The guy paid set, like 65 bucks to ship this to me. And I'm gonna try and not dox him. Hang on, hang on, let me just line my hand up here. But it's from a guy called Brad Palmer at uh, Palmer Panel and Paint. I'm gonna open this now and see what's in there. I feel kind of bad because we literally just put lights on the S15. Um, but if these are cool, I'll definitely put these on. So let's have a look at what they are. Well, the guy definitely did a good job packing it. I loved uh, the, the, the duct tape that was everywhere. Oh, these are nice too. These are gonna go really well on my second S15 that I'm planning to get. Hell yeah. That is very nice. I like that. They're like brand new. That's awesome. Hell yeah, these aren't LEDs though, but you could put LED bulbs in them. That is epic. All right, we'll put that in the back seat and see if there's like any notes or anything in here. Looks like it's just, uh, just another light. I don't see any other note in there or anything like that. But Brad, thank you so much. Palmer paint and panel. Thank you very much, man. I really do appreciate it. Um, if I didn't have the Yashio factory ones on this car, I would definitely use them in a heartbeat. Um, and they're not gonna go to waste because like I said, these are gonna end up going on my next uh, S15 chassis because I'm planning to get another one. These are literally brand new. This looks amazing. Thank you so much, man. This is so cool. So, so, so cool that you sent me these. I'm so pumped. Okay, so we're now at uh, the closest home center to my house. We're gonna get some supplies for the S15. One of them being, we need to sort out the diff oil smell. Uh, we need to set up a diff catch can that comes out of the ventilation tube, just like what we did in the Skyline. So we're gonna get some parts for that, plus a new battery for the OEM keyless entry and all that kind of jazz. Normal, normal home center stuff. But the main reason we came here was just to get another box of Georgia the Premium. We'll throw that in the basket. Now let's go get our supplies for the S15. All right, lads, we got everything we need. Now let's head to Up Garage and get some more things we need. First, Starbucks drive through with the Sylvia. The Starbucks staff are gonna probably be shocked. They, uh, they see me all the time with the red skyline. This thing's gonna be interesting. Also, guys, if you aren't following me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter. Info in the description. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we made it to Up Garage. And uh, looks like it's pretty busy. The car park's pretty packed right now. Uh, we're gonna head inside in a little bit and see what we can find. It'd be sick if we could find a head unit for the Sylvia today. That would be awesome, because then I could do that tonight and get a whole bunch of things sorted out there. But all in all, I'm just pumped because I get to look for S like S15 parts as well as Skyline parts now that I'm here. Anyways, uh, let's see what we can find. Okay, so I spent a bunch of time going through all the double din head units and the GPS things that they have here and whatnot, but they just don't have anything that has all the features that I want. Uh, and everything here is pretty much from like 2017, 16 back. There's nothing really from 2018, 2019. Um, so I think I am gonna just pull the plug on getting uh, one shipped over from Australia. I'm gonna go for a really nice Pioneer one. Um, they had some other like audio only ones here, but uh, Ka Karaziria is actually Pioneer in Japan. They couldn't use the name Pioneer in Japan. They had to make a different brand name. But if you look at all the Karaziria, they always have Pioneer to it. Uh, focus please, really small next to it. So in Japan, Pioneer is Karaziria, I think is how it's pronounced. But yeah, anyways. So not gonna be buying any head units today. Um, but we can try and get some adapter cables and stuff like that. That'll help out a lot for when the head unit does arrive from Australia. So I just grabbed a steering wheel spacer because I want to try and keep using that Nardi without getting a big dish one. I got some uh, black ice air freshener. Got some new wiper blades because wiper blades haven't been changed in 15 years. The next most important thing that we need for my car is a Broadway. So where are all the Broadways at? Up garage, come on, where are you hiding them? Do you, do you not sell them anymore? Am I blind? I might be blind, guys. I can't, I can't, oh, here they are. Found them, we found them, lads. Here they are. Gonna go for just a little 250. This'll do, it's not a real Broadway. For some reason, uh, Up Garage stopped selling the real Broadway brand, which kind of sucks, but that'll do for now. Get that in there, and then uh, you can see a little bit more out of that rear window. All right, we're finished now. Got everything that we needed. 
But before we go, I definitely want to go and uh, check out the wheel section, see if by chance they have some of the wheels that I'm looking for and the sizes that I need. This place is a lot more packed than it used to be. Looks like they got a bunch more stock out. But I still don't really see any wheels in the sizes that I want. They still haven't sold these RGs, which are a little bit of a weird offset. Ooh, these Volks look nice. 9J38, not the sizing I want. Man, this is so frustrating. This is why it's almost better to just always buy your wheels that you want brand new because you'll always get the size that you want instead of just like aimlessly walking around. Why would anyone get eights in RG3s? So weird. <laughs> Anyways, that sizing's not too bad for the rear, the 9J plus 35, but it's just not worth it. Yeah. Ooh, these are some big boys. <laughs> Work equipped 20s. Chromies are still really big over here in Japan, actually. Like, I feel like that scene kind of died out in Australia, uh, except for guys and their Commodores, but over here, it's still big, man. Chromies on, like, uh, big Lexuses and stuff like that. It's always hit and miss with Up Garage. You'll either find what you want at a terrible price, or sometimes the pricing's not too bad, and honesty, it... Their pricing's pretty fair most of the times, especially in the times that we're in now with everything going overseas and stuff like that. Honestly, I've garage pricing's not too bad when you think of it from that. But also just stock-wise, wheels, trying to find the right sizes you want, unless you're getting, ooh, these are nice tri-spokes. Um, unless you're getting stuff like re-lipped and stuff like that, it's really hard to find what you need. Anyways, I figured we'll go for a quick walk around the car park, see what's here today, and then uh, we'll jump in the car and head home. What is this CR Kai's, man? They look good on everything. Literally everything. Damn, they look really good on that Evo. All right, let's get this mirror on pronto. It's like one of the most important things that I feel every car over here needs because, oh, that's so beautiful. Now I can actually see everything out the rear of my car. It's weird, like once you get a Broadway, you can never go back because they're just so good. I don't know how to explain this, but all of you guys that have a Broadway know what I'm talking about. So I went to the underground car park and there's pretty much nothing here except the coolest JZX 100s I have ever seen. Mark II and Chaser. I don't know what era this is. I think, I think most of it's origin, uh, just from memory, but this thing is so cool. Lots of poke in the front. He's got a pretty aggressive angle kit and extended LCAs in this. Uh, working motion wheels in the front with some stealth, which I think are made by work as well, off the top of my head. I remember having a, a pair of those on my really, uh, my old white 33, if you guys remember that. OG subscribers will. Sunroof model, and I'm loving this kind of like spoiler at the top here. It's like a diffuser for the sunroof. Interior is baller, running a bride, uh, fixed back. And he's got one of those very special uh, like handbrake things that goes onto the stock handbrake to give you that extra leverage. The biggest issue with the JZX is, is there's such a heavy chassis, you gotta really yank on that e-brake. And uh, most people take out the center console so the elbow can go down and get that extra leverage. But when you put one of these on it, you don't have to do that and you can get a lot more leverage and a lot more pull on it. So really cool little modification that a lot of guys over here in Japan do. This wide body kit is insane. Very, very cool. It's rear body, that diffuser and stuff worked into the rear bumper is sick as well. I love it, man. He's got the light up number plates too, so that's super cool. The wing's pretty epic. Not fitted the best with a bit of wave going on there, but that's fine. It's just a drift car at the end of the day. So wide in the front, man. I think the front's actually wider than the rear. And then the Mark II's a little bit, it's kind of only got front bar and side skirts on. The rear's all stock, just different light, LED lights in the rear and a wing. If you could call that a wing, it's more like a tail. Roof wings on both of these two. Very cool cars. It'll be sick if I ever get to see these guys sliding around. I might talk to the guys later, see if I can get their line details and maybe we can hang out at a future event and film them. Some sick cars. That's the owners right there. Really cool. This is, this makes me want a chaser. And I've never said that before. This, ma this, this makes me want a chaser. Let's get a load of this headlight. So cool, just to get a bit more airflow in there to help with cooling and stuff, get your IATs down. Looks so aggressive. I love it, I'm in love with that. No one, not so much, Mark II's kinda suck. But that's epic. Man, what a bunch of lovely dudes, seriously. I'm so happy about meeting those guys. We exchanged details, they even subbed to the channel right away. 
bunch of rad guys. Hopefully we can hang out with them in the future. Although they seem to do a lot more street <laughs> than circuit stuff. Um, but I'm sure we'll uh, be able to catch up with them at a circuit at some point in the future for sure. But still, I'm really pumped. We got to head, we got to pick up May from the gym. So let's go do that and uh, continue on with our day. But I'm so happy we got a Broadway mirror now. Ah! Have I told you guys how much I hate traffic lights? But on another note, is why you John? Oh my God! Um, why do you look so good? I just got you from the gym. I thought you'd be like a sweaty mess. Well, did you, do you even work out at the gym? Yeah. What did you do? Um, lifted weights for 30 but, minutes. But you look, Amazing. Because I have a shower. Everyone does that, right? After workout. You have Wait, a the gym has like a shower? Yes. Well, what's wrong with that? And there's a, I've like never a been to gyms. Jacuzzi. You've never been to gyms. Wait, there's a jacuzzi? Yeah. What kind of gym is this? Wait, is it one of those weird Japanese places where everyone gets naked in the same room? It's not weird. That's probably because that's why you've never been to one. That's because I don't want to get naked with a bunch of men. Um, okay, we're gonna go have dinner in a little bit with uh, Okachan and his family. We're going to a really special place in Ginza, which I'll film the food for you because what's it called? Something... Kaiseki Ryori. Kaiseki. I knew it was like Sekai something and I was like, well, <laughs> something. But no, what is it? Kaiseki. Kaiseki. So we actually stopped by home really quickly because uh, we realized we were leaving way too early. But I put the new battery that I bought in the control in the key key thing for my car, and uh, I was hoping that it would just work. But listen to this. There's like this crazy beeping sound coming out of my door when I push it. So uh, I think that means there's parts missing. Because uh, as you guys know, I pulled out a whole bunch of aftermarket alarm systems. The guy was like super OCD and had like two different kinds and trackers and stuff. And so I think he's replaced all the factory actuators and stuff in the doors and it's all missing parts. So I think what we're going to do is have to try and find an S15 parts car or something to uh, get parts out of. But uh, we'll figure that out. We'll get it all working. Uh, but uh, do you want to tell them what came in the mail, babe? Yes. The solution to the camera shake issues that we've been having. Is to get rid of this freaking Sony. Yes. And go back to the G7X. Yes. And that's what we have here. The G7X is back from being repaired. Canon fixed it for free. Can you believe that? The condition that this thing was well, in? they should. They should. Well, no, they shouldn't because I pulled that thing apart and probably broke well, it myself. I don't know that. You don't need to tell them that. You heard it here first, lads. Anyways, so we're gonna open this up and probably switch to the Canon G7X now. So uh, tell me if it's any better. If you can't tell, we're shooting on the uh, Canon now and it's beautiful, but we're uh, about to go head to a restaurant somewhere over there, I think. And uh, this is like the smallest park ever. Look, I'm right on the edge here and look on this side. I'm not even in the park. And uh, I had to reverse into this place because there was like no room anywhere. Good times, Japan Tokyo parking is not fun. So this is the first thing we've been given tonight and this is apparently sea urchin, which is my first time ever experiencing this. Um, is sea urchin good, May? I like them. Okay, let's, uh, I guess, eat the dakimasu. So quick update, I've eaten half of it. It's really good. This is flour, this is crab, and then there's eggplant there, and there's top orange thing, that's the sea urchin. It's really good. So here's the second dish, and we've got like a mackerel kind of sushi thing wrapped in a leaf. A um, little bit of eel, some egg, very rare expensive mushroom. One mushroom's like $70 or something. And uh, what were these things again, mate? Ginkgo nuts. Ginkgo nuts, which I have no idea what they are, but I'm gonna eat it. Is that on a pine leaf? Okay, this is nuts. Like food preparation is insane. This is the next meal that we have which is all sashimi there's like some fatty tuna and things like that in here and snapper i'm not sure what that is i'm on it, honestly a bit scared but uh we should be good this is the next meal i'm kind of getting scared i wonder how many meals there are in this course this looks amazing this is like a it's kind of like a, a fried it's not fried it's like a barbecued fish it's pretty good yeah this is the next meal which is like a sukiyaki, which is a like wagyu beef with that expensive mushroom again. You're supposed to dip it in with the raw egg, the pepper, and there's veggies and stuff like that. I'm not a big fan of raw egg.
legs, so I'm probably just gonna eat it by itself. But nonetheless, this is amazing. So this is actually like a, a chestnut tofu cheesecake is the best way to explain it. And it is amazing, hands down, amazing. Okay, so a little change of scenery. Me and May, we're hunting for new photo spots uh, with back views and stuff, but we're gonna have to come back with my DSLR um, because there's no way that the cameras and my iPhones and stuff like that are gonna be able to capture the color of the car and that view without long exposure shutter stuff. So we're gonna have some fun and see what other things we can find around here, but it's really cool that you can see like the full bay bridge and stuff, epic. All right guys, so we're gonna wrap it up there. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I definitely had a good day just getting all those things that are, you know, you take for granted, don't even really think about when you get a new car that you need. Mirrors, wiper blades, LED bulbs, little connectors, and all that kind of crazy stuff. It all, I don't know, it just solidifies and makes you feel like this car's yours when you like fix everything up and get everything working mint and yours. You know what I mean? Adding those things to it. Uh, two highlights for today, I wanna say. Seeing those uh, JZX 100s, the, seeing that chaser really for the first time ever, I've, I've never felt like I wanted a chaser until I saw that chaser, so that was a highlight. But the biggest highlight of today was definitely dinner tonight. Um, it was insane. Uh, what's it called? Kaiseki uh, Yori? Yori. Yori. I'll never be able to pronounce that word right. But um, it essentially is like Japanese cuisine food, and you saw it. It's, it's like all comes out in these little, uh, what do they call it? Course. Courses, yeah, like, and all, it's all about presentation. There's not a lot on the plate, and uh, I don't think there was like everything that I ate tonight. I don't think I've had before. It was insane. So it was a real experience. There was definitely some things I liked, other things that uh, I didn't like. Um, but it was all part of the experience and trying new things and new Japanese food. So I thought that was sick. It was just incredible. That mushroom was like, I love mushrooms. Maitake. Yeah, but that that was like I was camping in a forest. That's what it smelled like and tasted like. It was like I was in the deepest woods in the world with just like a campfire and I was sitting on a log sipping some green tea. That's what it tasted like, like that smell that I'd imagine. Literally, that's the only thing. Like it was insane. I can't believe it. It was just, oh, it was an experience. That's all I'm going to say. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe again. Peace out. Bye now.